And now weather with Brandy Erickson on KPBI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Good morning, everyone. Here's a live look outside. We have a lot of cloud cover in the area. We are expecting a slight possibility of some storminess in the valley. A majority of rain showers are happening in the central mountains and the upper Snake Highlands. But currently, temperatures aren't too bad. About 45 with some cloud cover in Pocatello, 46 in Blackfoot, 48 also with overcast skies in Idaho Falls. Here's our low pressure system, a very large low pressure system that's making its way into the United States today. We have Washington State with more showers right along the coastline. And then we are starting to see more showers develop in Idaho because of another system that's come off of this larger one. So do you expect a slight possibility of moisture today? More of that moisture will be coming through tomorrow as the low moves closer to Idaho. Now our satellite map. This shows us all the cloud cover passing through the central mountains and then also in through the valley. That's what we're experiencing right now is the overcast skies. We also have some moisture to talk about. Arco right now experiencing some light rain showers just north of Rexburg and then right in through Island Park, right along the border of Idaho and Montana. So if you're traveling that way, do you expect some wet roadways and also a possibility of more showers for the afternoon? Thunderstorm activity is also a possibility where we've had some warmer temperatures and we're expecting a decrease in temperatures by tomorrow. Here we, you can see with our almanac June 8th that 78 is the expected high today. 75 is the average high, so we're above average today. Idaho Falls, same type of pattern, slightly above average for the high, but tomorrow we're going to see high temperatures in the upper 50s. So with averages in the 70s, you can see major drop in temperature and wind speed will be strong with that as well. Overnight low last night in Pocatello, 53, 45 in Idaho Falls. And tonight the sunset will be at about 9.08. For your satellite radar map of the nation, you can see some of the showers that have passed through the Dakotas, but now nice and calm. We're going to experience some nice and calm conditions for the central plains. In Texas, we have some showers that will be moving on into parts of Louisiana and Arkansas. And then we have also in the Pacific Northwest a lot going on because of that storminess, the low pressure system, and more of those storms spawning off of that main system. California, Nevada, nice and clear along the eastern coast, also pretty clear. We have a few scattered showers that will be moving into New England, parts of Maine, and then also the Gulf Coast has a few thunderstorms passing through Mississippi, Alabama, and then also central Florida today. Partly sunny is your forecast in the lower plains. It'll be a warmer day. 78 in Pocatello, 77 in Blackfoot. We have 76 for Idaho Falls, 75 in Rexburg, and 74 in St. Anthony. And then isolated storms for tonight in the mountains and highlands. 73 in Driggs, 66 in Island Park, 66 in Arco, and 80 degrees in Malad City. Isolated storms tonight, um, cloudy and windy with temperatures in the 40s. We have mid 40s also for tonight's forecast in the upper plains, cloudy and windy. And then as we move on to the mountains and highlands, scattered rain showers with mostly cloudy skies and 39 for the low in Island Park, 46 in Drig Driggs, 40 in Jackson and a little cooler in Soda Springs at 40 degrees as well. For tomorrow, in the lower plains, we have mostly sunny skies to start out the day, and then we have a possibility of some storms developing in the afternoon. Here's our drop in temperature, so do expect some strong winds tomorrow. 56 in Pocatello, 58 in Blackfoot, and then mostly sunny with a chance of thunderstorms in the upper plains where the percentage is higher at about 40%. 58 in Idaho Falls, 59 in Rexburg, 58 in St. Anthony. For the mountains and highlands tomorrow, partly sunny, so a lot of cloud cover passing through, and then a 40% chance of showers. Island Park, high tomorrow, 50 degrees. Drop in temperature also in Driggs at 57, 58 in Jackson Hole, and then 50 degrees for Arco. For your six day forecast, though, we will see some changes. Won't be until start of next week, but do expect temperatures to rise back into the 70s. We're going to see also windy conditions because of the system, and then we'll see a drop in temperatures again as well. Now, Moving on to Idaho Falls, the percentage actually goes up for the weekend. We're going to see temperatures dropping down into the 50s and then temperatures back into the 70s for Monday and Tuesday.